And the first thing we're going to do is set up some sender lines. That gives us a full screen of grid that I can see. And the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle, which is going to be 60 millimeters diameter. And another circle down here at 25, 20, Two, three, four, five. And then we're going to make that one diameter twenty four. I'm going to right click here and make this into a mirror line. So that when we now do this circle. It Duplicates it over here. Now, straight line, choose a straight line in the sketch panel. We've got two vertical lines here. Now, we want another one. This time, a tangent line. We want a tangent to this circle. So, we click, we see two parallel lines here. And we click and round about there is the right angle that I want. I'm going to press the T key for trim. Now I can trim away some parts of this. There's a bit there. There's a bit there. Now I want a radius on here. So select. Create rounded corner and <coughs> type 10 return. T for trim, don't want this piece here. Let's get rid of that. Now there's our crank shape. Press the P key for pull. Select. Now we do not want this plane in here, so we'll select over here and press the delete key. Let's get rid of that. I believe it's still here. <laughs> select it and delete. At last we've got a shot of it. With the pull tool we can now select 12. That looks a bit too thick. I'm going to make that 10. Right, that's better. <sighs> now I want some bosses on here. One for the main shaft and one on the other side for the crank pin so with the select tool selected select that face there V key squares it up now we're going to create a boss on here now if we touch this curve here it gives us our central point so we click on here, make 18 millimeter circle. B for pull tool, select type 2 for the thickness, boss there, 2 millimeters thick, S for select. Click that plane, V for vertical, or square up. And again, we're going to draw a circle on this. You see, there's the center.
or 10. <clears throat> for either pull, two, that's the, bit the basic crunk. We'll put some nice rounded corners on here. Pull tool selected, double click. And control double click press two millimeters return select that there control click select that corner in there one return there's a crank with two bosses I'm going to start renaming things over here first of all rename right click rename And call it crank one. Now we've got a green crank. Let's make it look a bit more realistic. Select the crank, display, color, darkish grey, dark green, yes. Uh, that should be a matte colour. Metallic. Finish. Now the next part of the process is to make the bearing parts. The, the shaft stub will come off here and crank pin come off here so we'll go to design and select select here the circle sixteen millimeters okay E for pull or M for move. Select that. I'm going to move this area away from <clears throat> the crank because we want to avoid this pin becoming part of the crank. We want it a separate item. Well, now that it's not connected to the crank, we can select the pull tool and make it into a bearing. Now how long are we going to make it? Oh, we'll make it uh, in, we'll make it 16. So we're going to call that rename main shaft and we're going to give that a nice shiny color well, this time we're going to be light gray metallic finish eye gloss so main, select main shaft Move tool, drag the hub, the anchor to that face, select up to, and bring it up to that. Now we we'll just repeat the process for the crank pin. Select that face, S for select, select that face, V. 
sketch circle and we're going to make that 12 millimeters M for move D for design mode move it away pull and I'm going to make that 13 use the same process Colour it first. First of all, I'll change the name, rename, crank pin, display colour, light grey, metallic, fish icons. crank pin. M for move, shift the anchor point to that face, up to tool, to there. Starting to look like something. And the complete one uh, crank, we need to duplicate this and this and stick it onto here so we'll use this method of highlighting this bit for the control key we're on the move of that to here Turn this around, 180. Now I don't know if this is fitting right here, so I'm going to drag the whole lot off. No, it's not. Right. So we'll position it by dragging the hub to this face. Select the up to tool. Select that face there. That's it. There it is. Now we've got a spurious surface there we don't need, uh, which is this surface here. So I can select that and delete it with a delete key. So there we go. Now, now that we've got that basic. Crankshaft modelled. If we want to make a two cylinder job, what we can do is go to select and see if we can select all of this. Yes, so that's everything put the main, this main shaft here. Okay, then move, control key held down, then click and drag. Rotate this 180. Now see, obviously this boss isn't concentric with that one. So to achieve that, drag the hub to that edge face there. 
and we see that it's in the middle of that boss up to select the surface of the shaft okay Now we seem to have the surface here, I don't want that. So if we go to select, select that and delete that line. Oh, we've got a little surface there again. Get rid of that. Delete. There we are, that's better. So now we can So all of that move drag to there you are dear friends basic crankshaft you should have most of the tools now to be able to make one the size you need so I've just spotted something here for some reason that one isn't quite as shiny as some of the others I wonder I'll just select that go to display see what finish really is ah it's, you see it's medium gloss I'll select metallic first then go to high gloss that's better that one also doesn't appear to be right yes There you are, dear friends. I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope it could be useful to you. Bye for now. Bye.